All right. <clears throat> now, I know that when I talked on Friday, I had hmm, made a mention of a video that was going to be coming out this week, and I have had all the intentions. In fact, I was trying to spend most of this morning uh, trying to make it actually work, but all of my footage that I had for it has been lost, so I'm extremely annoyed with it, but it will be made. It'll probably just end up being a week later now that I've got um, new toys to play with. And I hope that one sec. It'll look a little better. And I'll have a little bit more foresight and planning, I guess, I went into it. I was kind of excited about it, and then it just all kind of died. But enough of that. I'll take another sip of coffee. Have a plan. I'll do something else for this week uh, in its stead, but it will be back. Whatever it was. I don't even know how exciting this is, but we'll see. I'll stop with the lip smacking. Enough of this. Let's get to the matter at hand, which is another state since it is Monday. Rhode Island was last week. Now this week, we're uh, in the S's. And we're in the South Carolina. Now, if you remember um, from not too long ago, we did the northern part of Carolina. And here it is, South Carolina, hey, here on the Atlantic coast. Um, it's the easternmost of the deep south states. Um, you've got Charleston as its capital. To the north is bordered by North Carolina. To the west, Georgia. To the south, Georgia. <laughs> To the southwest, you got the Atlantic Ocean and a little bit of North Carolina, but it's, it's a bit of a nugget down here, the southern Atlantic coast states. One of the last ones we've got. There's only one more Atlantic coast state, and we'll be getting to that one much, much later in the alphabet, but here it is. Um, uh, it is the eighth state to ratify the union uh, to to um ratify the US constitution excuse me on may 23rd 1788 um it was also the first state to vote in favor of secession from america in december 20th 1860 and then after the american civil war it re was readmitted to the state on uh, to the state to the united states on june 25th 1868 it is the Palmetto State. It's got a very weird flag. Um, I always associate it since it's got the crescent moon on it. Since a lot of crescent moon flags were from, uh, you know, Middle East, Turkey, uh, Tunisia, Algeria. No, I don't think Algeria has a crescent moon on its flag. I just, it, it's an interesting looking flag uh, with a, I'm guessing that's a palmetto. At least it some sort of palm tree on it. Um, I don't know where we are. We seem to have hit a dead end uh, with Frost Community Prayer House Church. Um, like most southern states, it, it is a bit of a uh, religious. Um, conclave's the wrong word because I think still religion's a pretty prominent role in most states and or. Are we going, is this a, no, this isn't a highway. This is a. I for once thought this was like a double lane highway going one direction, but I don't see a road anywhere else. Mm. Um, let's see here. As I said, it's the Palmetto State. Um, its anthem is Carolina. I'm sure it's a song. It's just funny when it's called that. And you got Jenna and her farm down that road. I will not apologize for that. You got. Oh, post office is this way. Okay, we've got ourselves a tiny town, I think. Can I get to the post office here? I cannot. Drive up mailbox. Can't see what it says there. That is the lowest hanging stop sign in existence. Uh, we're getting into a bit of a four laner here. Well, it looks like two lanes one way, one lane the other. So um, I think that might have just been going to people turning to the post office there. New homes. I got 36 seconds. Uh, 
Emerald Homes, Bridges at Seven Lakes. Um, a lot of lakes in South Carolina. I'm going to put us kind of here. I'm, I'm not going to find it in time. But let's see here. Capital, I said, is uh, Columbia. Did I say it was Charleston? Well, I was wrong. It's actually Columbia, and it's in the center of the state. I'm dumb. See, it's right here. Um, excuse me. The total land area is about 32,000 square miles, and which makes it 40th ranked as far as, well, we were much, much farther south. Uh, it's 40th in area size. Um, highest elevation is only 300. Uh, 300 well, average elevation height is 350 feet. Highest elevation being Sassafras Mountain is a great, I think I've had Sassafras Soda. Or like sarsaparilla, I think that's the same thing. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Sassafras Mountain is 3,560 feet. Lowest elevation is the goddamn ocean at zero. Population is over 5 million, which makes it 23rd. Uh, most, dense, uh, most populous, it's the 19th most dense, as you can kind of assume, since it is 40th in size with over 5 million people. The pack them in there. Um, take a sip. Medium house, median household income is about fifty thousand, which makes it forty third, which is kind of low. If you were to see somebody from South Carolina, you're going to call them a South Carolinian, which is a lot of words. Anyway, we are playing next round because that was a terrible, terrible guess. Um. It's uh, named after King Charles I of England. Uh, they took a little bit of an artistic license with his name. Um, with Carolus, C-A-R-O, no, C-A-R-O-L-U-S being the Latin for Charles. So they took, instead of making it South Charles, they just took a little bit of a, a, a artistic license with it and made it a bit more flowery. Here you can see... Apparently, there's a reenactment location over in this way of the Civil War. Um, it seems to happen a lot. I mean, gas seems kind of expensive here. I don't know exactly when it was. Uh, oh, you can kind of see the flag here. It might unfurl as we drive by. You can kind of get a pretty good image of it. It's very weird compared to every other flag we have here in the U.S. Um, maybe in abstract abstractness uh, compared to like New Mexico and it's uh, unusualness compared to how most other places do it this is peace gas, oh, pure gas available two packs of cigarettes are only six dollars I am glad I do not smoke um train of thought lots let's start again it's named after King Charles. Um, strangely enough, I didn't know about this either. Um, apparently, South Carolina gets a lot of earthquakes, and I'm off the road already. Um, apparently, uh, it's it's a hotbed. I did not expect this, and a lot of the uh, there might have been actually an intersection here to say what road this is. It does not. Um, <clears throat> apparently, there was like a seven. Point oh on the Richter scale earthquake in eighteen eighty eight, uh, eighteen eighty six. It's the largest quake ever to hit the eastern U.S. Which, if you don't know, we really don't get any earthquakes on the east coast here. Um, at one point we did way back when the uh there was a tectonic plate that goes right along most of the eastern seaboard was. Pretty active. It's not so much anymore. I got a minute 30. We have an adopt a highway here. Sponsored by litter trashes every time, everywhere. I can't I can't read that. B A S B A S F. The Clemson plant. Now I think there's a Clemson University is actually in South Carolina. I don't know where. Uh I'm hoping that. I can figure out where the hell this is. Not having much luck, though. Very uh, nondescript, I'd have to say, as far as uh, signage. 
Did I see a sign? No, that was a stop sign that way. Man. What route am I on? I got 42 seconds. I have no idea. What town am I in? I got a Dollar General. Fun fact about Dollar General. Um, not everything in dollar stores are a dollar. This seems to be a late... No, it's a church. I thought it was a... Uh, um, uh, uh, God, what are they called? Legion Hall. Um, South Garvin Road. I have no idea. Let's say we're in Hampton. We're not, though, because I have no idea where this is. I've not seen any route markers. They've got very fr uh, fancy route signs for the state. And hopefully, uh, you'll get a chance to see one of them. Well, we were fucking hooey up north. I'm going to do bad, if it's not obvious. <sighs> I mean, I'm trying, but I'm, I'm not getting much in the, f in, in the way of uh, demarcations, delineations. This seems to be along the coast. Is this Myrtle Beach? The one place in South Carolina I've been to. And I kind of enjoyed it. Um, had a bit of a culture shock when I went there just because, number one, I've never been to like a big, very well developed in this sense, um, part of the world when I first came here and, uh, very touristy because that's where they're going to get a lot of their income from is people coming to Myrtle Beach because it's an amazing, uh, place. And... There were these like uh, little kitschy stores that sold just like uh, anything having to do with the beach. You can get towels, you get t-shirts, you can just get things like say like I Hard Myrtle Beach or other things like that. And one of the things they had were the, the signs on the road that said like, hey, here's Ocean Beach Party Store, whatever it was called. And they had those little things where you can put wording and their major selling point was telling everyone the average like the sizes of their t-shirts and I didn't know at the time that apparently shirts can go up to 7 XL and they were saying like we have shirts and they didn't start at small it started at double XL and it went all the way to a 7 XL just another day in paradise I don't know but anyway Along with um, earthquakes and a lot of the eastern seaboard here, mostly kind of down in this, this chunk of land here, anywhere along here, you get a lot of hurricanes. And if you're unfamiliar with hurricanes, what usually happens is dust storms off of the Sahara Desert get blown to the west over the Atlantic Ocean and get caught in um, some sort of uh, weather patterns that cause them to become giant, big-ass storms. And what they do is they get stronger, 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 and then come over here and dump it all on us. And hurricane season lasts from June 1st all the way to November 30th. And that's a huge swath of time to be worried about giant, dev devastating storms that can destroy your houses. And you can see... Uh, a pattern with a lot of houses here is they're kind of built up on stilts in case there's any um, flooding that happens, I guess. North Shore Villas, South Ocean Boulevard. Let's take a look. I'm going to really try to pin this down here. Is this Ocean Boulevard? It is. Okay, so I'm going to click here and Run, it said North Shore, right? So maybe we're, well, it's North or Ocean Boulevard here. Art Burger Sushi Bar, interesting. There's a Ripley's, believe it or not. How about that? Um, North Shore. I had a lot of fun when I went to this place. It was, uh, did go-karts, went to the beach. Like twice, it was the first time I actually went in the ocean. I was like, wow, this is pretty salty. Never actually having experienced it before. Waves kick my ass, though. It's one of those arrogant things, I guess you can think of, when you're like, 
There's no way people get caught in undertow. It's water. How can it be that strong? And honestly, you don't really notice it until you're uh, in it. Oh, North Myrtle Beach. Well, at least this was a bit closer than all the other guesses I had. Yeah. <sighs> so you got hurricanes. It's being a climate thing. And as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, the um, secession and war seems to be a pretty common thing when it comes to uh, South Carolina. Um, apparently the, uh, wait, did it say where this was? Kinda, I can't make that out though. Um, apparently during the Revolutionary War, ooh, we're at a junction of see theaters to their uh, root signs, which is pretty fancy looking. I, I gotta give them, gotta give them credit for that at least. So now I gotta try to find Route 75. Found 76, because of course, um, a third of all Revolutionary War battles actually took place in, um, South Carolina, which I didn't know, which is pretty crazy. Scroll down a bit if I can actually get to that. Uh, Inhabit inhabitants of the state endured being invaded by British forces in ongoing civil war between the loyalists and partisans that dev devastated the back country. It is estimated that 25,000 slaves, 30% of those in South Carolina, fled, migrated, or died during the war. Try to find 75. Where is it? Is it a north-south thing? I found 76 again. That's the border. 78. Come on. Reveal yourself to me. 701, 76, that keeps popping up everywhere. Oh man, come on. Don't do this to me. Zoom in a smidge more. I got two minutes. I'm going to find this. We're doing so badly that I really want to try to pin this one down as best I can. And if you can see how frantically my eyeballs are flying around the screen right now trying to find this thing. And the inability for me to locate it, it, it it's, it's frustrating. Where are you? Come on. I got a minute 40. You're going to do this to me. Everyone's watching. Why do you want to embarrass me like this? Come on. Ah. Whatever. I prop 76 again. Why am I finding that number? It's always one off. Let's see. Come on. Wow, really? All right. We're uh, going to try to find uh, some better. So this is 76. Um, are we going to maybe say what town we're in here? White something. No, that doesn't help me. Intersection. Here we go. 75. Man, I am... Route 5. Okay. Another number. Which I'm probably not going to find. I'm clicking just so I actually have... Got to try to find Route 5. The very short amount of time I have left here. Come on. Come on. Wow, this one is just. It's just not. It's just not happening. I see a five, but I doubt that that's the same thing. It very well could be, though. Yep. So there's 75. Okay, so it was one of the round numbers. I should have spent the time and clicked on that. Anyway. Ah, excuse me. So a lot of wars happened in South Carolina, like I mentioned. So the Revolutionary War happened, and then the Civil War first kicked off on um, 
April 12th, 1861, with the uh, battery assault on uh, Fort Sumter, which was out here, right here, when um, Confederate soldiers started bombarding Fort Sumter in uh, Charleston Harbor. And a uh, quick little blurb, I found this interesting here. Um, where is it? For the rest of the war, this area served as a Union base and staging point for other operations. Whites abandoned their plantations, leaving behind about 10,000 slaves. Several northern charities partnered with the federal government to help these people run cotton farms themselves under the Port Royal experiment. Workers were paid by the pound, harvested, and thus became the first former slaves freed by Union forces to earn wages. Now that was all cool and novel. However, you know, there was. Um, after the war and Jim Crow, but I thought that was a cool little blurb I had never actually heard about myself. Excuse me a second, I got a yawn. Oh, and a stretch. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, man. Sorry, that, that, that just needed to happen. Um, this is kind of a cool little road that's got those archway of trees over them but i haven't the foggiest idea where ex exactly this is because i haven't seen any road signs um north carolina itself or south carolina itself like i said been there once it's way too hot for my liking just like today is i'm not going outside because it is um about 96 i guess they're going to say the temperature is going to get to today you can do the math for Celsius if you want. We like big numbers, so we're going to stick with the larger of the two. Cherry Point Seafood Company. East Coast Seafood. Well, Maybank Highway. So maybe there's a root sign on here. We'll go this way. That's cool. I mean, it sucks. It does not seem it's actually open anymore, but you got, like, the Spanish moss hanging down here. In case you ever need to start a fire and you're in the south like this, Spanish moss is extremely flammable. Pink Panther. I can't make that out. But if you like um, beaches, um, very large trucks, <laughs> um, you can come down and see the plantation houses with their, apparently it's called Greek Revival Architecture. I guess it has to do with a lot of the uh, the arches they use on their porches, the long stone column-like looking things. Where is this? It's very drab looking. Just hot as fuck. This person needs a very long ramp to get into their house. Uh, I see there is a bus stop up here. Another little snippet. It's one of the South Carolina is one of the few states that actually the state itself runs all of the public. I mean, all the school buses for the state. Normally, other places. Charleston Tea Plantation. Oh fuck! I just saw how much time I had left. Man, this one was hard. I got very little. Um, stuff to work with and then the one time I did I just had a very hard time actually locating it but that's going to do it for South Carolina hopefully you saw what most of it looks like got a little taste of Myrtle Beach and all the houses and hotels they have down there a lot of the rest of the state that I'm sure outside of the cities looks exactly like that it's very hot it's very humid they get hurricanes and apparently earthquakes um, but I guess it's an all around it's okay ranking it as far as the state goes eh, it's probably in the bottom fourth states I'd want to go see but for us on a Monday that's going to do it as well I'd like to thank you all for watching if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints uh, likes, favorites, comments, subscribes, do all of those things, please. 
and put them in the comments below of this video. I'll probably read them, review them, and have a discussion with you if you so desire. We'll at least come back again on Wednesday for um, another geoguessing thing. If you have a map or a theme or a suggestion for a thing you'd like me to do in geoguesser, you can go ahead and make a comment as well for that. But until then, go enjoy your week. Um, I'll probably do something else for an extra video this week. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying doing that. I got a new toy for some better videos. And better, I just mean like visual wise. I was gifted a GoPro 8, which I was very surprised. And I'm going to do some cool stuff with it. I'm going to tinker around, around with it, try to get some cool stuff going. But that's for another time in another video. Go be free. We'll see you again in a few days. Goodbye.